Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Studies in English Literature and Language and today I shall discuss with you one of the important literary terms namely Hamasia. What is Hamasia who first used this term regarding literary theory and how this term has been used down the ages in different literary works everything will be discussed elaborately with you in this video lecture. Now, firstly my students Hamasia is a literary device and this term has come from the Greek word Hamartanian that means to ear. Another meaning of this Greek word is to miss the mark that means this term is related with miscalculation and Aristotle in his seminal work Poetics while discussing about the nature of tragic hero used this term. According to Aristotle a tragic hero should not be totally a good person and should not be a evil person. He should be an a person of intermediate type and that person's depravity comes from hamartia. And now what is hamartia? Hamartia actually refers to an error of judgment on the part of that tragic hero and that error of judgment is engineered either by some moral depravity of that hero or by some ignorance on the part of that character. So, Hamasia includes both moral depravity and ignorance and of course, error of judgment. Actually, moral depravity and ignorance cause that miscalculation on the part of the tragic hero. Usually, Hamasia in tragedies is followed or is complemented by hubris and what is hubris? Hubris refers to excessive pride. Now, if we look for the great tragedies written in English literature, we will be clear about this concept. You will become clear cut about this concept. Firstly, while looking into Shakespeare's Macbeth, we find that Macbeth's tragedy is caused by his excessive ambition or to quote Shakespeare's own words by his vaulting ambition. That vaulting ambition leads him to err or leads him to miscalculate and it causes his error of judgment. Next coming to another great Shakespearean tragedy namely Hamlet. Here what we find that Hamlet is a hesitant individual. He is always entrapped between to be and not to be and that hesitation leads him to err, that hesitation leads him into miscalculation. So, his tragedy is also engineered by his moral depravity that means his hesitation that hesitation causes his error of judgment. Now, I think I have been able to clarify this literary device to you and if you like this please subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video so that I am motivated to make more and more videos for you. Thank you. Thanks for